Hey everybody, that brown bat back once again for another episode of Toy Box Rumble. Here we are with Nick Wilde, Officer Nick Wilde, if there ever is a sequel. Um, he should be an officer, um, based on the end of Zootopia. So anyway, spoiler third <laughs> All right, so we have Ewoks. We could say this is the Ewok Massacre of 2016. Um, as we end close to the end of uh, 2016, uh, well, the Ewoks are going to get a pounding. I know it. You know why? Because they're Ewoks. Okay, so what we're going to do, get our invisibility device. And it, I don't know, would it be fun to watch this? I don't know. Uh, Ewoks are good fighters, but you know what? George, uh, George Soros, uh, get in the tree. You don't come back. I don't ever want to see you again. All right, so we got Ewoks. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, they're getting shot, but they're not going to do anything until they're... We got quite a bit of them here. They have the home team advantage. And no matter what way I face the locator, they keep facing the other way. I don't understand it. Um, but anyway, uh, they have the advantage because there's more of them. Well, they're a little bit weaker, but uh, they gang up on the Stormtroopers and watch what happens. So, so, is it fun to watch the Ewoks get massacred? Well, they ain't getting massacred yet. <laughs> I just said that because, you know, the Ewoks. I could say how it should have happened or how Return of the Jedi should have ended, you know. Um, no. They actually had assistance from the Rebels, so without the Rebels, the Ewoks would have been done just like this. And that is it for wave one. Is it? Or is there another wave coming in? Nope. Here, here, here they are. I think there's ten of them total in each wave. And we got Wicket, we got Tebow, we got Chief Chirpa, we got Paplu, we got Tebow, we got Princess Nisa. And the other ones, I don't know. I do know that Lumat is not in the group. And then we two more. Oh, and Logue Logray, the Ewok Medicine Man. But being so tiny, it's hard to tell which one's getting beat at the, uh, when they get beat. I think that's Chief Chirper right there. There's Logray. Logray's going with the pig hat. No, Tebow has the pig hat. Logray has the bird hat. Where is he? Maybe he's over here. Yep. It's Logray and. Oh, I, did I mention Wicket? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the baby, uh, Wicked's baby brother's in here, too. Send everybody out there. Eat Chihuahua! Um, I don't know if it's in the remastered edition of Return of the Jedi, but, uh, I do remember, cause, I mean, I used to watch the movie a lot. And I do remember that, no, that's Chief Chirpa, the one with the golf club. Um, I do remember, where's the next wave? Where is it? Are they coming out? There they are. I do remember one of the Ewoks yelling, Lutini, which is a Jawa phrase. Look at it. We walk this way, and then we get shot, and then finally turn around. But anyway, stormtroopers are blue, and right now they have 20 points. Ewoks, of course, are in orange. And oh, look at stormtroopers 27 now. 28. I mean, they'll throw one of the. I have one biker scout in here, and he'll throw a thermal detonator and take out like the whole group. 30 points. So we don't know what the Ewoks have yet until we're, we get to the end, but uh, I can, you can rest assured that they are not ahead. <laughs> don't worry about that. You think that, oh, that, it's not fair. No, until they actually officially load in, they're invincible. So, and now the blasters will affect them. And the, the uh, bomb, the uh, thermal detonator will as well. 
took out another Stormtrooper, but for every Stormtrooper they take out, a Stormtrooper takes out 50 Ewoks. <laughs> I, of course, exaggerate because they're not at 50 yet, but... You Chihuahua! Gone. All right. It's 40 of them so far. It's four waves. No, three waves defeated. This will be the fourth wave. Chief Chirpa, get over there. I don't think I mentioned it, but of course we are in the forest moon of Endor. We are the E E E E E E E Ewoks. You bring Princess Nisa out here for. How's she a princess though? If, like she's Chief Chirpa's daughter, so apparently Chief means king in the Ewok tribe. Two stormtroopers down. Oh. Forty-three stormtroopers, forty-four. Knee down, knee down. Yub yub, each up, galoop. Yub yub, each up, yub yub. Throw me, throw me to king, ganoop dak fling. Oh ah, go to dak to yub yub. Hallelujah, glow ah, each up glow ah. I, I still think that's a better ending than what they what they changed Return of the Jedi into. I, I don't know why well, it's changed. I don't like it anymore. Dude, it was great the way it was. It's like I'm surprised uh, nobody did a parody with like George Lucas from the past meets George Lucas from like the two thousands. And 1977 George Lucas looks at 2000s George Lucas and is like, uh, I quit. <laughs> you did what? You know, people complain about the Ewoks now. But nobody complained in the 80s. Nobody that I knew. And I live in New York where people complain about everything. Everything. The rebel, I knew it. Too much greed, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Done. We have two minutes. Almost, well, just under two and a half minutes left, or no, not quite two and a half minutes yet. And, uh, the Stormtroopers have 70 points. I mean, they are just tearing the Ewoks apart. I'm, I think this is wave two of the Stormtroopers. This is either the wave two or wave three. So the Ewoks at least have, uh, at least have 10 points. Actually, the handicap. I think there's eight of them, but uh, I'm I'm sure they beat. Yeah, they're right there. I'm sure they. Yeah. So that's either wave two or three. So they either have sixteen or they have uh, twenty-four points. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say they have twenty-four. We'll find out for sure in the end, though. He chihuahua. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll put more Ewoks in there. <laughs> Let's see if eight Stormtroopers can go up against 50 Ewoks or something like that. Well, when when uh, 3.0 first come out, you could put in 100 characters. Look at some of my old videos. And there was no lag. Oh, there was a little bit of lag sometimes, but... Now, 
you know, since you know they did update after update after update um, over the over the last year before they ended, before they stopped support. Um, you, you you sort of can't do that anymore without crazy things happening. You know, it's weird. Sometimes you can get away with it. I think it has to do with how much stuff's in the toy box. Um, so maybe just an arena. With nothing else, just your plain old Jane uh, Stadium, maybe. Maybe we can fit a hundred Ewoks in there. We'll go up against eight Stormtroopers. But I definitely did that with the uh, um, the Olafs and the uh, the Ice Giant, Frost Giants. That was one of the first videos I did. The Toy Box Rumble. What was that, number one? Either episode one or two or something like that. No, it couldn't have been one. One was the uh, Sakarans, I think. In the oh, eighty-nine. Yeah, I think one was the Sakarans and the uh, symbiotes. I think that was episode one. Look at this. I love these caves. Actually, it's the interior of a tree. So cool. So cool. Anyway, Stormtroopers, 89 points. Now let's see for sure what the Ewoks got. 24. Man, I was right. I, I mean, I actually, I was dead on. 89 to 24. The Imperial Stormtroopers win. That's what would have happened in Return of the Jedi if the Rebels didn't show up. All the Ewoks would have died. But that's not what happened. So rest assured, Ewoks are still alive. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And until next time, remember, keep on building.